Solon, congratulations on the win here at the uh, Cobble Hill 10K. No, thank you very much. It was, uh, it was a good, good race, great course. So that Daniel, who you uh, took out, uh, he was sort of the pre-race favorite with the 29-31 personal best. Uh, what were you thinking in the first K there? Because he, he did have the lead for a while. Yeah, I had I had no idea who he was, what he was, but he went out, he went out like a rocket. and I wasn't really sure where my fitness was, so went through the first 3K, just kind of evaluated and heard the split of where we were and just try, tried to pick the pace and chase him down, and then we ran together for a while, and it was a it was a fun fun race, fun battle. So you had the uh, so it rolls a bit, it's a bit uh, rolly, and uh, some of the asphalt's cho uh, chopped up. We got that fun 2K. How was that? Oh, the whole course. I mean, a fun course. All the rolling hills, but the last 2K hurt. I was I was battling the last K, of course, and uh, I thought I had longer longer than I did in the last K in the final corner. I was so thankful to see that uh, <laughs> that finish line. I thought I had longer and to see that it was it was almost done. Yeah, it was uh, a good time out there. So you're uh, uh, representing Canada in the triathlon. So uh, talk about your uh, goals uh, uh, coming up for 2023, because this is obviously early for triathlon season. Yeah, yeah, uh, competing for for Canada for triathlon and and this year will be all about qualifying for <clears throat> U23 Worlds and and trying to yeah get a podium there um, and then also looking at the the Pan Am Games uh, late in the year so test the see the fitness is at today and then a lot of racing to come. So these are uh, great stepping stones towards your uh, ultimate goal, obviously of 2024 Paris or 2028. So you're U23. How old are you? At uh, 21. Okay, so you may, who knows, look at 2024, right? But uh, it's, an, it's, it's an LA goal, is it? Yeah, just kind of see where, it's a, it's a process to see what happens with that, but just keep working and, and see what ends up happening this year with racing. Obviously, we'll check the results uh, at islandseries.org, but uh, do you know what time you ran? I think it was about 30, 30 47, somewhere around there. Course record. Course record. Oh, well, I think this is the first time this course has been run. So, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> sorry. Course record. Yeah. No, it was. Uh... And an event record. I think uh, the previous event record is 31, uh, 13 by Steve Ozaduk, who uh, won the Royal Victoria Marathon in 216 at one point. That was his career highlight. So good for yeah. you. Yeah, and some good company then. You're in good company. All right. Well, uh, what's next for you uh, on the roads? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm kind of. This is my first. First time with the Island Racing Series. I think I'll probably try and hit Bazin Bay a little bit later and see a few more. But other than that, I'm off to start the tri season in uh, Cuba and Mexico in about a month and, and get rolling with that. So The uh, viewers will be jealous. So enjoy, good luck, and, and uh, congrats on today's win. Yeah, thank you very much. It was a great, great time out here.